it's Megan welcome back to my channel today I am doing a collaboration of forgotten favorites which is themed to Wreck-It Ralph this month so if you guys want to see this DIY which I made the you're my hero uh, heart metal and I made it into an ornament it's super easy for anyone that has any sort of supplies um, which is like very like very minimal um, if you want to learn how to make that stay tuned and let's hop into the video okay so starting off I have a fourth of a cup measuring cup and then also a full cup um, and then a mixing bowl as well I actually cut down um, the recipe that I found online which I can link down below I cut it in a quarter just because I don't need that many but this is what we're doing and hopefully it works <laughs> So now I have just about a cup of flour, a little bit less than a cup, and then a little bit less than a fourth of a cup of salt. And I know, like, don't come at me, baking is very specific, um, but I don't have enough salt and I don't, <laughs> I don't wanna put in that much flour. So I'm going to eyeball it and then add a little bit of water. It's gonna be a little bit, it's gonna be about a third of a cup um, that I'm adding for water, um, actually just a little bit less than that. And so I'm gonna mix it in and see how that goes. And uh, let's do this. Okay, so in goes the flour. Here we go. Boop, boop, boop. And then here goes my salt. And I'm gonna add some water now. Okay. Now I'm just gonna mix it around. And I'll add a little bit more water if I need to, because it looks like I might need to, just a little bit. Okay, so now I've just lined my area with just a little bit of flour so that I can get this out, um, which is kind of, it's still a little wet, so I might have to add a little bit more flour, but I'm just going to kind of um, toss this around in the flour. It's almost like you're making a pizza dough, you know? So, um, yeah, if you've ever made dough or anything, I'm not a baker, my mom is, but um, yeah, this is the start of my dough. So here I have rolled it out fairly thinly. Um, it's not super thick as you can see. Um, I coated this in flour again, and I'm gonna continue to do that just so that it doesn't get sticky um, and it remains pretty dry and soft. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to wash my hands and then I am going to um, freehand a heart. And if you guys want, you can cut out a heart stencil or use a cookie cutter if you have that. But I don't, and I don't wanna print out a, a heart. But I'm just going to freehand one because I feel like that's what Vanellope would do. So I'm just gonna go through and try and cut this out. And remember that it doesn't have to be perfect. If you want it to look perfect, you can. Um, I just think that the character of Vanellope probably just did this um, out of the love of her heart, which she probably didn't go to the printer or use a cookie cutter, you know? But that's just my idea of Vanellope. So <clears throat> here we have, let's get this out of the way, my heart. But da and let's see what, we see what we can do with this now. So after I finished cutting out the heart, I let it sit for 48 hours pretty much. You can also throw it in the uh, oven for about, I don't know, three or four hours at 200 degrees. Um, and then it should be completely hard by the time you finish. So now my cookie or my little ornament is completely hard. I also threw in a little a circle up at the top so that um, I could throw a or put a ribbon through it for the um, the ribbon at the top of the ornament. And you see me doing um, some painting of this. So I did a little white outline for the cookie. And then I'm also mixing two different colors of blue. And I'm having that be the teal color of the inside of the cookie. Um, and yeah, I'm just using acrylic paint for this. Um, that would probably be your best bet. Um, if you want to use puffy paint as, paint as well, that could add some more texture to it. Um, but I just decided to keep this pretty flat for some acrylic paint and uh, paint it however you like. Use whatever kind of paints you like. And then I went in with some puffy paint as well. I could try and find a, um, a link to these. It's not going to be perfect because it's handwritten and um, I just tried my best, but it says you are my hero. And so uh, that's what I did with the cursive puffy paint. Now, 
Next I went in with different colors, adding some of uh, what would look like the appearance of sprinkles. I used pink, yellow, red, um, white, and like a very light green color. And if you look at a reference photo of the cookie, you can see some of these details, but it's really up to you too if you want to add different colors, make it your own, but I just went in with acrylic paint for this as well and a smaller brush. Finally, I took some brown acrylic paint and I watered it down a little bit because I wanted to do some shading on the edges. Um, you can go in as dark as you'd like on this um, just to kind of give the cookie a little bit of a baked look. Um, and so I watered down a little bit of the paint with some water, like I said, and uh, just sort of smoothed out some of the color on the edges of the ornament. Finally, I took some glazing medium, some high gloss glazing medium to seal the, uh, the ornament that I made. You can also use a different kind of varnish. Um, I kind of liked the idea of having it be super glossy, um, but that's all up to you. And then I also added, I didn't have any pink ribbon with me. I think it's typically pink ribbon, but I did have this little yellow ribbon and I thought that was a nice color as well. So just coat your ornament with varnish. And this is how my ornament turned out. Um, I'm pretty proud of it. I think it's really cute for only needing a few household materials and you're my hero. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, this DIY. Uh, hopefully it was understandable and it was super quick and easy if you do choose to make it. Um, please go check out all the other videos that are a part of this collaboration. They'll be linked down in the description below. So thank you so, so, so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you all real soon. Bye.